Every day, Hosniara goes to visit her baby's grave. She says she can't believe he's gone and that it happened so quickly. She'd taken her child to a hospital because he was sick. Then, her world fell apart. That doctors put a needle into his hand to give him an injection. And I saw with my own eyes, his hand started to go dark and it moved up towards his head and my baby screamed and then went quiet. That's when I started to cry. But the doctor told me to stop crying and leave the room. I asked, why should I? You killed my boy. Three other children also died that day in the same hospital from the same sort of injection. Medicine can be really cheap in Bangladesh. I just bought 10 tablets from this village pharmacy and it cost me only $2. It's almost 100 pills. However, that does mean that a lot of people are cutting corners. The government says that there are pharmacies selling substandard, expired, and even fake medicine, especially in the villages. In 2009, 24 children died after taking contaminated paracetamol, a mild, over-the-counter painkiller. But the worst outbreak took place between 1990 to 1992, when 339 deaths were reported, also due to contaminated paracetamol. This is Mitford Market. It's Bangladesh's largest wholesale medicine hub. The government has called it the ground zero of counterfeit pharmaceuticals. It seized fake medicine worth more than half a million dollars in raids of the market over the last year. But the traders here are defined and have threatened to shut down sales of all medicines if the raids continue. There are no fake medicines at this market. The government picks on us because they want the attention. We just sell the medicines. We don't make them. The health ministry estimates there are 16,000 unlicensed pharmacies in the country, mostly in rural areas. The government says it is trying to shut down illegal dispensaries. It's action that's long overdue, but it could save many mothers from sharing the heartbreak felt by Hosnayara. Mahir Zatar, Al Jazeera, Tangail, Bangladesh.